Hello, and we are picking up right where we left off last time. Uh, this is part of a series. Be sure to check out the link in the description of this video for the full playlist if you aren't already watching it. And I recommend watching the previous videos. So we've created this little, you know, basically one room level so far. And uh, let's go ahead and look at something here. So I'm going to hover my mouse over my map here and hit tab to go into 3D mode. You can also get to that by going up to view and toggle 3D view. Uh, and we have these wall textures which are aligned nicely except for over here. Um, you can see if this barrel wasn't in the way. Uh, it doesn't look too far off but you have this one brick that's kind of squished right there and I think there's another one kind of cut off right there but that might still happen with what we're about to talk about. Let's go ahead and um, I'm going to tab or tab to get out of 3D view mode. I'm going to hit S to go into sector mode. I'm going to choose that sector. Tab to go back into 3D mode. And I'm going to adjust the ceiling height up a bit. So just, just a little click. And now you can see our wall texture is not lined up at all. Now, back in the 90s, that was a pain in the butt to align. Uh, so let me show you what you might have to do. So I'm going to hit tab to go back in this view. L to go into uh, line mode. And I'm just going to hit the back tick to unselect everything and just select that one wall for now. And you can see the wall textures we have selected. And here you have your X and Y coordinates. So let me go ahead and go back into 3D mode, which again, uh, this little 3D preview mode we did not have back in the 90s. Uh, you would have to you know, do the math or go in and out of the game so you got it right. I, let's say I change X to 32. You can see it moves the texture over some. If I do Y to 8, it moves it a little bit. And I could theoretically you know, keep on changing these numbers until I get, uh, you know, right there. Uh, the top texture is at least now aligned. The bottom texture is not. So I could, um, I guess, I don't even know what I would do to align that. It doesn't matter because you don't need to do that. With that line selected, or you can select multiple ones as well. In fact, I will select all the ones for that little sector there so that this inside wall isn't lined up as well. Uh, so select the walls you want, the lines you want, tab into to your 3D view, and then what you're going to press is Control A. And as you can see, it did not work. Oh, how did that happen? Tab, select those, tab into 3D mode. Oh, sorry, not Control A. Shift A. Yes, because Control A will select all the walls. Let's go ahead. And that's okay in this particular case that I have them all selected, but now I can just hit Shift A to align them and it lines them all up. So let's go ahead and just for fun, I'm going to put in numbers to purple. Well, let's just build another sector here. So I am in my view here. I'm going to hit V to go into vertices mode and I have grid snap on. I'm going to space bar, space bar, space bar, space bar. Then I'm going to S to select, to go to sector mode, and it's going to notice to, it's going to try to be smart and select that sector since I had the vertices for that sector selected. Uh, so I'm going to hit tab to go into 3D mode. There is that new sector. And I'm going to hit uh, the period key to move the wall texture up, uh, comma to move it down, and brackets to move the ceiling up and down. Again, you can also change those numbers over here. But again, you can see my wall textures do not align. This one doesn't align with that out there, and this these lines don't line up there. So what I can do is hit Tab to go into this view, L to line select. So I have all those selected. You have to be in 3D mode, so Tab back into 3D mode and Shift A. And it may not align it perfectly the first time. You can see it's not. So just hit Shift A until they align. It takes a couple of clicks. and. Eureka automatically aligns those wall textures for you, which is so great. That was so hard to do 20 years ago. <laughs> uh, and there we go. Now, we also might want to start building a new room here. A new I mean, technically, this is a new sector, but let's say I want to build a hallway here. Um, I'm going to hit 6 to change my grid again. 1, 2, 3, 4 on your top row here, all these numbers. Change your grid size. I'm going to choose 6. And when you're on six, which is a 64 uh, numeric grid here, uh, I, I consider that uh, one of these, the width of one of these is a nice tight hallway. You wouldn't want it any smaller than that or you might have trouble fitting in there. But let's go ahead and do a double wide one like so. And I can create a 
long hallway here. And even though these are different sectors, they um, you can't really tell that when I come here. It looks like one. Uh, but there might be reasons you want to have different sectors because you might want to change the ceiling texture or sectors change the ceiling sector. Yeah. Ceiling texture or floor texture, also known as flats in Doom, or the lighting source, which we'll talk about more in another video. Um, but let's go ahead and say that I want to have a different wall texture down this hallway. What I can do is I can hit L to go into line mode. Again, it tried to smart select since I had that sector selected, those walls, which is fine. I'll select these two walls and we will change the texture to this. Now I'll hit tab and you can see that it's a brick and it lines up, but it's kind of weird going from one brick to another. Let's actually pick a completely different texture. Let's pick this or this. That's great, but it looks kind of weird going from one wall texture to another hard like that. Uh, so it's been advised, uh, I've heard this before and I agree with it, is that anytime you have some sort of wall texture like that, you should have some sort of border texture. Uh, so what I like, the way I normally do this, and there's different ways to go about doing it, uh, is I lower my grid down, so I'll say 4 here for example. I'll hit V to go into uh, vertices mode and I might create a little wall here like this and I'll do the same on the other side. And I'll go into S for sector mode and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all four of those because they were split because of the line here and hit delete. And that created a new little pillar for you. And what I can do now in line mode, I can box select those and a good border one is um, you can do lighting. So that's a good one. I can go like that. I can choose that light. So now that looks a little bit better. You have these lights. It's just like a, a border texture. So you're not cutting from one of those brick textures to another. And it just looks better that way. And since we're changing that, we might also want to change our ceiling texture if we want to. We're not going to get into that right now. So that's another thing you can think about doing when you're doing textures is some textures don't line up very well. It looks weird going from one brick because both of these bricks should have depth. So without that, it looked weird going from one to another. But now we have this little light texture. Another good one, you know, you can do texture like that. Um, you can also, sometimes I do, this one looks okay. But again, uh, our texture in partic this particular case is all messed up. I can go again and hit Shift S, oops, or Shift A, Shift A, until that lines up. That one didn't quite line up, right? So let's go ahead and pick a better one. Uh, the years, you can just do a hard silver like that. Again, this one's kind of messed up. Uh, Shift A, doesn't seem to want to align that. Most of the time, the auto aligning works great. Um, where's the track? Ah, this is the one I'm looking for. This one's a good one right here. Uh, I'm not sure why the auto aligning is not uh, really lining that one up very nicely. So you might have to manually align stuff. Most of the time, that auto aligning looks good. But I actually think our, our lights looked good, if I can find those again. I don't know if they're... There we go. Li brought that up. Oops. So again, uh, it's not... I don't know why it's not lining this up. It just might be the, the size compared to the textures. But that brings me to our next point. If auto aligning does not work. So these ones over here are selected okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to box select to unselect those. So I still have this one selected. And you can manually type in the numbers over here. So let's go ahead and just start at 0 and 0. And um, right now this front wall looks good. This one probably doesn't matter over here. Let's go ahead and just select this wall texture over here. So I'm going to hit those two. I'm going to hit Shift A. Just see, ah, Shift A fixed that. I think the, the split in the wall there might have been confusing it. So now it looks good. But again, if we didn't, we can manually adjust these numbers. And you're probably going to want to do um, things that are like uh, what I would call a round binary number. Uh, but basically divisible by 8 is a good thing. So I can do 8 or uh, 16 or 32 or let's go back to 0 here. And again, I messed it up, so I'm just going to hit Shift A to auto align that wall. But if you needed to manually move uh, a texture, you can. And we'll actually look at that more right now. We'll look at adding in a, a, a switch texture. We're not actually going to create a switch just yet, um, but I'm going to show you how to align up a texture. So let's go ahead, 
do is back tick to unselect. Make sure we have nothing selected. We'll select this wall here. I'll come up here and type in SW. And on, uh, right here, this switch looks like the wall texture we currently have selected. I can select that, tab into edit mode. And now you can see we have our switch there. If I hit Shift A, it does not seem to want to align it. Let's go ahead and just say zero for X and zero for Y. And that actually aligned it pretty good. It's not always that simple. Let's say we wanted to add a switch on this wall over here, you have two different options. Uh, that would be this wall right here. Uh, let me go ahead and go six on my grid here. What I can, if I try to add that texture here right now, let's go ahead and do that. I'll hit that. You're going to get this all along here. And even if I was to try to align that, it's you're going to have a row of switches. You don't want that. So let's go ahead and control Z a couple times to undo that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a in this particular case, this, this um, texture is 64 uh, pixels wide. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit V and I'm just gonna come over here and click. I already have a vertices there. I'm gonna just left click to add another vertices. L to line select, back tick to unselect them all. And I'm gonna select that, text, that wall right there. Select our texture. And now I can manually align this. Let's go zero on the X zero on the Y and uh, yeah that doesn't look perfect it's actually a little bit off which is one of the main reasons you wouldn't normally do it that way I, I never really do switches that way uh, but you can now adjust all our textures and try to align them all up uh, a better option let's go ahead and undo that uh, is usually you put a little indentation where your switch is going to be. It makes it a lot easier. Uh, so for example, I'm going to put my grid pretty small. I'll do four. I'll go back to vertices mode with V. I'm going to go space bar, space bar, space bar, space bar. I create a whole new little uh, sector here. And now I can do L to line select, back tick to unselect everything. And I'll select that wall and add that texture there. And there it is. And that looks a lot better, I think than before the way our textures were. Another thing you know sometimes you want to do, I'll go into sector mode and select that sector. Go into 3D view so I can see. I can hit um, period a few times and then my bracket here to adjust the wall textures down. And then what I would do here, select these walls and shift A to align them. Uh, but our switch isn't lined up. So I'm going to select that wall back there that has a switch. And I'm going to just, I always just start off at zero, zero. Just makes it easier. And now I'm going to move it Y. I want to move it up. I'm going to try 64. Oh, there's my switch. It's a little high. Uh, so I'll try something like 48. And there we go. We have a switch. And again, you can adjust it till it gets to where you want. Now, it's not a functioning switch. Oops. It's just a switch texture. But we'll talk about that more in a future video creating switches. I do thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Be sure to check out my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. Check out the link in the description to go to my website. Also check out the link in the description for the full playlist for this series. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.